Welcome to the Artist Academy podcast, the audio version of our Facebook Live series, Art Talk Tuesday. I'm your host, Andrea Earhart, and I am so excited that you're here to catch the weekly replay of my laid-back yet very inspiring conversations with other full-time professional artists. The purpose of this series is to show aspiring artists like you that it is completely possible to make a great career out of this art thing. And if you ever want to join us live and have your questions answered in real time by myself or featured guests, then just hop over to facebook.com slash groups slash Artist Academy every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'll see you there. This episode is sponsored by the Artist Academy Advanced Membership, a program for artists who want to up-level their art game by taking it from a hobby or a side hustle to a full-time art business. I've been a professional artist for over five years with paintings in several different countries and a client list that includes high-profile companies such as Bass Pro, O'Reilly's, Duck Commander, and many, many more. So I figured out what it takes to build an art business, and now my heart is set on teaching aspiring artists like you to do the same. Go to advancedmember.com, that's advancedmember.com to learn more. This week, we have muralist Emily Millian on the show. Emily and I have completed several projects together in the past five years all over North America, and it all started on a Bass Pro Shops job site. Emily was painting for Bass Pro for about a year before I came on the job, and ever since I showed up, we would constantly get confused for each other, even though we look nothing alike except for our long red hair. And if you think about it, that's the main thing people see when our faces are towards the wall, working, painting all day. Emily is my first ever guest on Art Talk Tuesday, so let's see what she has to say. Oh, okay, yeah, so I wanted, okay. to, I wanted to start this Art Talk Tuesday kind of a thing. Um, basically, oh, okay, Sammy says it sounds good. Okay, so I wanted to start this Art, okay. Art, Art Talk Tuesday thing. Um, basically, just to show or just to chat with other artists about, like, oh, I can see myself. <laughs> um, just to chat with, like, other professional artists and show artists in the, uh, in the Artist Academy, like, aspiring or beginner artists, like, that it's possible. And so just to, like, chat with full-time artists about, like, how you came to be or, like, how, how you came to be in the position you are, which is a full-time artist for the past several, several, several years. So yeah, um, I guess okay. I'll, I'll just anybody who's watching okay. or, or watching the uh, the live feed or the replay, I'll just introduce Emily real quick. <laughs> so when I when I started Hello. yeah when I started this art talk Tuesday, you were the first one that came in mind. I was like, I'll just do Emily first since we Yay. yeah we uh, we work together a whole lot. Um, and although not every artist I'm gonna have on here will be one that I know. I wanted to start off with one that I knew really well and liked. <laughs> So, yeah, if you want to just introduce yourself and tell everybody who you are. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I am Emily Million. Um, I've been painting full-time for about six years. Yeah. Professionally. So, yeah, six or so. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I am a Missouri native, uh, like Andrea. Um, and mm-hmm. let me see my talking points here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I guess my background, um, I always wanted to be an artist, and I was actually almost born at Missouri State Sculpture Lab, um, <laughs> so my mom's an artist, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and I guess that kind of started my art journey, um, and then I pursued my um, Bachelor of Fine Arts at Missouri State, um, yeah. with an emphasis on painting, yeah. um, so I've just kind of always been on that artist trajectory. Um, and I guess I, so I graduated with my painting degree and then realized that I had never taken a business class, <laughs> um, <laughs> which, uh, is pretty fundamental to, uh, being a successful artist and running your own business. Yeah. Um, so I, after that, I tried to, um, consume as much information and read as many books about it that I could and, um, yeah. just tried a lot of different things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, and it's, it's worked out, um, and I do a lot of mural work for clients, um, 
commercially, residentially, um, museums. We've worked on a lot of projects together. So yeah, so that's yeah. sort of my background. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So yeah, yeah. So Emily and I met on the Bass Pro job site. I think the first one I met you on was up in Seattle or near Seattle. Um, I think so. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. So how did yeah. you, how did you get that job? Like how, how did that come to be? How did Bass Pro come to be? <laughs> Uh, so a lot of it was just kind of right place, right time. Yeah. Um, and people that I knew, um, they had an opening, so I just sent my, um, portfolio over to them. Yeah. Um, but it was kind of interesting. My background, um, was never wildlife or, um, landscape painting. Yeah. Uh, I was always interested in painting portraits and figures and then they, pretty much asked, well, can you paint wildlife and landscape? And I said, sure. Yeah. Uh, so, I was like, I'll paint anything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Yeah. Which, which is cool. It started. Yeah. Which is cool. Cause like, yeah. I don't, I don't like to paint portraits at all. Yeah. So I'm glad I have you to be like, yeah. It's a paint it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to get into some questions, I guess. Um, so I guess the first one, uh, I, so I have a list of questions that I'm going to ask basically every artist because this, this is what I, these questions are what I wonder about almost every artist. I know, I know a lot of your answers, but other people don't. Yeah. So uh, my first one was, what was the tipping point that took you from hobby to, to professional artist? But we kind of went over that, I guess, you know, with the whole Bass Pro thing, right? Oh, um, uh, yeah. Um, I, I would say the one thing that, um, I don't know, I was thinking about as a tipping point for that is um, yeah. there was one moment um, where I realized that I was saying a lot of um, using words and phrases like I want to be an artist someday or I'm going to be. And yeah. I think more the tipping point for me was when I started saying I am an artist and owning it. And then after that, things kind of um, kind of snowballed. So yeah. I don't know, I, I would say like, I guess that would be my advice for um, anyone who's wanting to pursue it. Just kind of mentally change how you perceive yourself and then present yourself. Yeah, definitely. In that way. Yeah, because yeah. saying you are an artist, yeah. that way people will refer to you as you refer to yourself, you know? So I, 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 never, right. really, I yeah. never really thought about that. Yeah, I remember the first time, like, having, our, like, an artist as a name title. I was like, I'm an artist, kind of. Like, yeah. I, I, it's such a weird thing. You're like, I've always wanted to be, but now you are, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, but that was a tipping point, I guess. And then, you know, a big client like Bass Pro or yeah, <laughs> you know, kind of giving it a shot and saying, okay, we'll go paint this and good luck. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of sink or swim. <laughs> yeah, definitely. As you know. <laughs> yeah, as I know too. Yeah. I, well, I, I was lucky to have you on board already because like you were on the, uh, you were on Bass Pro for a year before me, at least, right? Yeah. And I yeah, think it was like right about a year. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then I came on, but while you were there, there was hardly, hardly, I mean, very few girls working there at all. And yeah. Then, yep. <laughs> yeah. And, and then I, and then I came on and like, so we get confused for, I mean, you, you know this, but they, they don't like, we would get confused for each other on the Bass Pro job sites. Cause like uh, from behind, we look very, very similar, yep. like just long <laughs> red hair, you know? So people would, I would get called Emily quite a bit, like uh, complete accident. And people would be like, weren't you just painting over there? <laughs> and mm -hmm. same to her. So that was just kind of a funny point. Okay. So what makes up your typical work day? How many hours do you spend painting or how many hours do you spend doing other things? Like what, what do you, what do you do? So like I, I, I say, and I ask this because a lot of aspiring artists, like they have full-time jobs usually. And so just to be for them yeah. to be able to be able to picture like a day in the life of a working artist, although they're probably all different, um, just kind of give them that picture of what it is. Um, it kind of depends on what I'm working on at the moment. If I'm on site on a job, um, I'll typically work, you know, just paint my heart out for about 10 hours a day, six yeah. days a week, um, as you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> if I'm, <laughs> yeah. If I'm working from home, um, I, I don't know. I, I'm a morning person, as you know. So yeah, I try to stack my day so that I um, approach my um, most challenging work first thing in the morning and kind of get my mindset right and, and then work on that. And when I'm home working on things, um, I guess I start with administrative work because that's the most challenging for me to get going. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I try to paint um, eight to ten hours a day. 
Yeah. Um, five to six days a week. Yeah. Or if, you know, there's a deadline. <laughs> yeah. Um, and just kind of depending on what I'm working on. Um, but yeah, I yeah. try to separate myself, um, like my studio time away from other time and have a specific place that I go to paint. Yeah. Um, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Just I kind of mentally. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Yeah. We're opposites in that. You like to get up and start do your best work in the morning. Yeah. And I'm like, no, like give me until noon <laughs> and like I'll do productive things <laughs> after noon. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, another one is, uh, so hmm. um, I have this one on here. It basically says, talk us through your painting process, which that can be really, really broad. Um, so maybe trying to think of a way to just kind of thin that down. Um, basically, just to say, are there any methods or techniques that you picked up throughout your experience throughout the last while? Like, are there any, like, techniques that, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. Um. Yes. <laughs> um, so I, I paint in, um, in oil, acrylic and watercolor. Mm -hmm. um, and they're each very different. Um, yeah. as you know, and yeah. most other painters know, um, and they have completely um, different approaches for each one. Um, Wait, which one do you prefer? So I guess, yeah. I like oil painting. Um, <laughs> that's my preference. Um, just because I feel like you can. Hey, Kitty. Nirvana. <laughs> she is such a attention hog. <laughs> Major's over here laying down on the bed. So, <laughs> um, so but, yeah. But yeah, so I, I like oil painting. Hey, Kitty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Are there any like tricks of the trade that you think you've maybe picked up? I because I I say that, but then I can't. I'm not really sure even what I would say. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I guess it just depends on kind of what you're after, um, what your goal is for a particular piece. I kind of <laughs> change it up depending on the piece. Um, I guess for oil paints, um, I really like using, um, Gamblin products, um, and a lot of their, um, um, like their Gamsol is a really great product. They don't pay me unless they want to, um, but, uh. <laughs> So that's really good for um, kind of thinning your paints. And I'll start with that, thin my paint down and do a few layers okay. to kind of build up. Um, so yeah, so oil painting is all about um, kind of building up your layers and um, kind of building it how you want. Um, I don't know. I, yeah, I really like, really like using that, thin it out. Um, and then I kind of like, um, like it, the alkyd look, which makes it pretty shiny. Um, okay. That will dry your oil paint a little bit faster too. So then my second step is that I use like um, an alkyd to mix in with my paint um, for oils. Um, yeah. And I usually start kind of with a mid-tone um, or a dark and then I build my highlights on top of that. Okay. Yeah. Do you, which is, do you draw it out first? Like for, for like the smaller oil paintings, do you draw it out? Um, typically, yeah. yeah. I'll just yeah. sketch with um, graphite pencil on there to yeah. kind of lay out what I want. But um, I don't know. I get really excited about starting painting. So I have to make myself stop and slow down because I'll just <laughs> jump right in and start painting. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, Susan Watkins says hello. She says hi, girls. So hi, oh, Susan. Hi. <laughs> hi, Susan. Yeah, fellow Bastro painter. <laughs> fellow Bastro painters. <laughs> yeah, Susan. Another I woman. To, yeah, like Susan, I would love to have you on here one week. We're, we're doing an Art Talk Tuesday, so I would love to interview you, Susan, so I'll message you. So, yeah. Um, okay, so great answers. Awesome. Okay, so um, what is the one thing you don't like to paint without? Uh, headphones. <laughs> headphones. Same. That's headphones. same. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if, if, I, um, yeah. if I yeah. forget my headphones, oh, it's a bad day. <laughs> it's a bad day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll just the, turn my phone on really loud. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> what, what what is typically in your headphones then? What, what do you listen to? Music, um, podcasts, like? Um, I like to listen to a lot of podcasts, um, yeah. audiobooks, music. I try to switch it up throughout the day because I feel like my brain can only take so much of one thing. For, oh yeah. You know, ten hours. I can't listen to music for ten hours. True. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. I, cool. I guess it depends. Yeah. It just kind of how I'm feeling and yeah some, else do, so. some, some rap yeah. Mu rap music to hype you up if you yeah. need it yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> little g house yeah yeah for sure cool um let's see 
Oh, so I have, are there any lessons you've learned the hard way with painting? So like, for an example, one time I like, instead of using chalk, I drew it out with white paint because that's what I thought people were using. Oh. And I had to, ch I had to change it. And so, and then I, from then on, I used chalk no matter what. So is there anything <laughs> you've had to, that you've learned the hard way kind of a thing? Um, a lot of things. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Several. Um, put lids back on your paint. That's okay. like, kind of my hard lesson. <laughs> yeah. Or like, don't <laughs> spill paint too. Like, uh, don't spill paint. I've dropped my phone in um, three separate phones in gallons of paint. Oh. So, uh, because I'll just work with the lids off and I'll you oh. know, dip and mix as I go. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've spilled a lot of paint. <laughs> wow. So, it, uh. your, phone, your phone got immersed in it. Did it ruin it? Or did you have like a case on it or little bowls? Um. Uh, I had a case on it. Um, <laughs> it turned out okay. okay. I had my spray bottle and I just kind of cleaned it out. Yeah. <laughs> several times. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So cool. I have insurance on my phone. So that's good. good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Necessary. Yeah, definitely. That would suck to, to lose your phone if we were doing like a Canada store or something. That would yeah. might die yeah. a little bit. <laughs> okay. Next question. <laughs> also, if anybody watching has any questions, now's the time to ask them because I'm going to ask your questions right after I get done with these couple ones. So type in your questions, to Emily. Um, okay. Do you have, do you have a okay. favorite, do you have a favorite past project? Like any projects that we worked or you have worked on or we or, what do you, or anything? Um, I guess I'm always, I don't know. My newest project's always my favorite because I'm excited about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I don't know. As far as the favorite project, um, I don't know. I really liked some of the fun stuff we did down in Branson, like the oh, uh, yeah. aliens and cowboys. So that was fun. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. And it was close to home. So that was kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always like so, the, the Florida project stores are always kind of my favorite, yeah. just mainly just because of the weather. Really. <laughs> because you're in Florida. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah true. Um, yeah. Yeah. I guess a lot of them. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, there are some projects where, um, I don't know, like the, King of Bucks Hall in um, the museum. Not my favorite because it's the best that I feel like I did, but it was yeah. the best in the amount of time that yeah. I had. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, That's so, awesome. You know, stuff like that, I guess. Yeah. You feel really accomplished when you You kind of just surprise yourself. Off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Bass Pro has some crazy deadlines. Actually, so there's one girl in here, Sammy. She is from New, uh, New Brunswick. So she is actually, oh, I'm, cool. I'm pretty sure she, she's pretty close to Moncton, the, the store we did oh, up there. Cool. But yeah, so it's just, it's just cool people from everywhere. Um, okay, so what are your future art plans or goals? And do you have any upcoming projects that you're excited about? Oh, um, yeah. So I have a couple of exciting projects. Um, I am doing a diorama display um mural for ducks unlimited in their museum so okay. that's coming up um a couple of residential projects um one in florida which will be nice yeah because <laughs> the weather's nice yeah um yeah, yeah so those are exciting um yeah that's the other question exciting. let me grab my notes okay what um <laughs> wait what was the rest, other part of the question? Um, um, it was just, uh, w what are your future art plans, goals, um, any upcoming projects, which you pretty much answered. And actually, uh, Michael Sullivan has one that's kind of along this line. He goes, are you, are you working for another company now or going independently? So I'll just let you answer. Um, yeah, so right now I'm independent. Yeah. So. Yeah. And so um, Bass Pro hires us on an independent kind of a thing. We're never like employed. It's just like they, they hire us when they need us. So we're, we're we, although we work for Bass Pro quite a bit, it's never like all the, I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to explain. It's kind of a weird situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> awesome. Okay. So um, is there any advice you would give artists who want to make art their full-time career, but don't know where to start? Like where's like a good starting point, do you think? <laughs> Start. Um, okay. Let me refer to my notes here. Sorry. Um, oh, you're good. I, I would I say. Too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I would say my first piece of advice would be uh, paint every day. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Paint every day. <laughs> every single day. <laughs> any, any moment that you can, I would be painting. Um, because you just get better and more proficient and you learn so much as you go. Um, yeah. I don't, 
I don't know. I, I get to points where I feel really happy with some of the work that I've done, but I never feel like, oh gosh, you know, I, I know how to paint. Like I, it's a constant kind of like, oh, I figure something out through this project and then that project. And I, I don't know. I mean, I guess that's part of the exciting thing of it is that yeah. it never really, like it's a constant challenge and you're constantly working at it and getting better. Yeah. Um, so I would say paint every day. Um, read as many um, business books as you can. <laughs> True. Yeah. Like uh, podcasts or, yeah. Or podcasts. Listen to, to business books. Yeah. That's the only way mine get read if, if I listen yeah. to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, find as many artist resources as you can. Talk to as many artists as you can. Yeah. Um, the Do Artist Academy is great. <laughs> yeah. Plug. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Plug that. Yeah. Do you have any artist book recommendations for people? Like anything I that they do. can maybe write down right now that they know? <laughs> okay. Um, yes. Uh, so Maria Brophy's <laughs> Art Money Success is probably my favorite. Uh, agreed. I've uh, listened to it twice. It's that twice. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. I'm going through it again and writing down all the worksheets that she has through it. So yeah. Um, yeah. That's probably a favorite. Yeah. Um, totally. She has a lot of great resources on her blog too. So. Yeah, I'm on her email list where she sends like weekly yeah. like stuff to do. I'm like, she's so good. <laughs> like, she's, she's so inspiring. Yes, she's like, I could do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, that's all I had. Um, do you want to add anything? Or let's let's see. That's basically about it. <laughs> but that's it. Okay. Thank you so much for coming yeah. on here with me and being my no first problem. guinea pig. <laughs> Yeah, we, we did it. We did it. It's no big deal. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Well, I will see you soon. And um, okay, Anybody yeah. have questions? Uh, or... You know, I don't know. It's not like, so we've got five people watching right now. Um, cool. I, yeah, I know. We're like, pressure's <laughs> off, you know. Um, I think this will like, once it gets going, people will like know when to, when to chime in and stuff. I think, mo yeah. also, I think most people like, Part of the people are asleep right now since some people live in Europe and just wherever. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. Okay, cool. Well, I'm sure I will see you either this week or next week. So. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Bye. All right. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by the Artist Academy Advanced Membership a program for artists who want to up-level their art game by taking it from a hobby or a side hustle to a full-time art business. I've been a professional artist for over five years with paintings in several different countries and a client list that includes high-profile companies such as Bass Pro, O'Reilly's, Duck Commander, and many, many more. So I figured out what it takes to build an art business, and now my heart is set on teaching aspiring artists like you to do the same. Go to advancedmember.com, that's advancedmember.com to learn more. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast and leave a review. Also, if you ever want to join us live and have your questions answered in real time by myself or featured guests, then just hop on over to facebook.com slash groups slash artist academy every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I'll see you next week.